Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be doing some tames on Rend. So I hope you guys get some experience on this but basically I want to go over what's going to happen first, what you need to do it, and then we're just going to go ahead and jump in and do it. So the things you're going to need first um, are going to be a stables, uh, spirit stables. Uh, you're going to see ours right back here in the corner over here. I should have been standing in front of it right here this is a spirit stable from here you can craft everything you need to tame your first animal first things are spirit arrows you'll see those right here taming crystals you'll need a way to get over to the other side go into the spirit world you have choices between potions of the other side lesser totem of the other side or you also have what are called other others shrooms uh, they give you five seconds on the other side so if you can get this done in five seconds i'm also going to bring in the rough spirit siphon to help myself out if I need it. I hope I don't need it, but uh, let's see what happens. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to go out, select an animal we want to tame. We're going to kill it, um, but however, prior to killing it, we have to shoot it with our crystal that you see on, on number five over here. This crystal right here, we got to shoot it with number five. Once we've shot it with number five, we're then going to kill it. Once it dies, we're going to switch in our siphon into our inventory. So you'll switch out our bow for our siphon and then we're going to bring in the worst weapon we can with our spirit arrows so that we don't kill it so then when we go to the other side we're going to shoot the heck out of it with our bow get its tame all the way up and that's why the siphons there is in case it's about to die i can switch to the siphon and just try to siphon it now the worst part of this is going to be the fact that we also are going to possibly have to fight the lost at the exact same time and run around so it's going to get interesting and when you're in the spirit world you are going to take spirit damage so if you guys have noticed i've got staves as number two to try to give myself a little bit of health and buy myself some time so that's the overall goal let's go ahead and go find something to tame and we'll see you guys here back in a moment all right guys we're back and we are ready for this gore tusk tame so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tame this gore tusk level four 31 pet rating and remember, all we gotta do is shoot it with the crystal, and we're gonna go ahead and drop the totem and go ahead and try to tame it. We need to switch bows in the middle, but the biggest catch is you guys gotta watch out for them drones, because they come and get you, and, and it's just not fun. So let's go ahead, give this guy a shot. We should make him nice and angry here in a second, because this will pull him to us. Come on, tame the crystal, hit him. There we go, now he's angry, so we're gonna need to kill him. Fast as he can. And he's down. Alright, so that's all that is. That's a little bit of the first part. Second part is we need to grab our simple bow, have our spirit arrows on it, and drop our totem and cross our fingers that we don't have a million thrones around us. Ready, set, here we go. I already got one, I can hear it already. So you guys want to run, pull. You guys can see his taming bar is the blue bar underneath him. You are going to take some damage on here. But you can see we're going to go ahead and get this guy really quickly. And tame successful. That is it. That's all you got to do is get that gore tusk. Now you've got him tamed. I have flesh wounds, so I'm going to take some damage here for a minute. Um, but we're going to go ahead. All you can do is then leave the spirit world. You take an exit out of the spirit world. And we'll go back into the faction base. And you'll see you guys did get spirit sickness on here. And we can go back to our sta ta stables. Spirit stables, if I can say the words correctly, that are coming out of my mouth. And we can go ahead and check out our guy. I always forget where our spirit stables are for some reason on him. So then what you do is you can go to your taming shop. You can see there's nothing in there. What you need to do is you need to come in here, check out your stables, hit your C button, go to your pets. And you can see him right here. And you can set as your active. And he becomes your Z button. And bam! That's your pet. So you guys can ride them, you can do whatever you want, you can see you can open them, you can mount them, it's a hot key Z, so we can mount them, and now we've got ourselves a Gortus that we can ride around on. He's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's something. So that's really taming in a nutshell, guys. It's not the easiest thing in the world. I will be blatantly honest, it took me about four or five attempts to get this thing up and running finally, uh, to get it to work the way I needed it to. Best thing is, make sure you guys are ready for it in the long haul. Try to get those pets on the first time. And if you can take extra people with you, I highly, highly suggest it. Because it's extremely important to keep those drones off you, to kite things around, and make sure you have all the stuff ready. Um, but I hope this, guys, helps you out on your taming process. Uh, we'll probably have to do a taming video later. 
specifically around big teams, large teams, not just some small little guy like this, where you guys can see the working parts of multiple people working together to tame something. But that's really it going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys out on your journey to becoming uh, Taming Masters or whatever you want to do. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button so you guys can get notifications. You guys give us a thumbs up on it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you think there's something better or a better way to do things. I'm always in for them. And if you think you guys need anything or any help in run specifically, leave us a comment also down below. Tell us what you guys want. But as always, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.